On today's podcast, we'll be covering organization, so stay tuned. Welcome to Warehouse Safety Tips. If you're a seasoned vodcast viewer, this vodcast is going to be different from most that you watch. It's based around exactly what the name implies, Warehouse Safety Tips. And since the people in this industry are busy, we know that time is money, so each episode will be as short and to the point as possible. And now, with all that out of the way, let's get to the vodcast. One of the things we revisit often here on our podcast is the 5S or 6S, if you include safety, methodology. The elevator speech version of this methodology is a place for everything and everything in its place. When you say that phrase, it can be simple or complex. Just think about all the ways you could break it down. It's mind-blowing. But since we do our best to keep things short and to the point, we're going to just focus on two forms of organization. The first form of organization that we want to cover is your physical workplace. This is the area that you work within as well as your overall facility. Take a hard look at your workplace and use the following questions to spark an organization frenzy. Is everything around me necessary to doing my job? Of the things that remain from the previous question, is everything in the most efficient position? Is everything as clean and sanitary as possible? Are the duties, practices, and placement of everything you use and do easy to understand? Can you achieve quality control over what you do repeated over and over again? The second form of organization that we want to cover is your mental workspace. This is one area you have complete control over. There's an overwhelming chance that what you do is not forced. You may need the job that you're doing, but you're not being made to do it. Thus, if you're there, you're there by your own choice. Because of this, regardless of what happens, you must make the best of what you do every day. Your mental attitude is the one thing that can always be controlled. With that said, here are a few ideas to help that along as well. Decide that no matter what you're going to do, you're going to approach everything with a positive attitude. Figure out ways to constantly improve on what you do. Now, it's easy to say that there's a place for everything and everything in its place, but putting it into action will assist in making almost every aspect of your day better. Before moving on, here's a word from one of our sponsors. If you've ever been to or worked in a warehouse, you know just how important safety is to both management and staff. It's almost impossible to go 10 steps without seeing safety tape, angles, signs, and or safety products. It's these items that show us how to be safe and avoid danger in the workplace. And if you're looking for the best products to make this happen, look no further than Mighty Line. Mighty Line floor signs and floor markings offer the best industrial products out there. We're proud to have Mighty Line as the official floor sign and floor marking company for the Warehouse Safety Tips podcast and site. Go to MightyLineTape.com forward slash safety tips to request a sample pack of their incredible safety signs and floor markings. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Warehouse Safety Tips. If you visit WarehouseSafetyTips.com, you'll find the show notes for this episode and access to all of our blog posts, previous podcasts, advertiser information, and much more. Thank you for listening to Warehouse Safety Tips and have a safe day.